I made you a cup of tea, dear. I'm over here. Damn! What is up, Susan? You got that pumpkin butt. <laughs> Oh, what a lucky man. Hold still. I have to get a photo of you to show you were delivered. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I'm surprised they didn't make this joke in the movie Storks. Because I don't think they were doing the photo thing yet, I guess. Eh, it makes more sense at that point then. How old is that movie? Was it pre- It was pre- But never mind. Yeah, good God. I am just lost in the sauce. Have you found Jesus? What, in this image? He's right behind the curtain. Other than that, no, I haven't found him out in the wild, but I do appreciate that you're looking out for me. This is Ed down the street. Your dog's doing his business on my lawn again. Yeah, look, if he's doing actual business, he should be contributing to the mortgage. That's the rule, right? Or at the very least, that should be a rule, right? Look at that guy making money and not contributing anything else. Okay, 70323, 70323. Oh my god, yeah, this one. That is an ancient one. Yeah, yeah, totally. Ah, <sighs> also, hmm, maybe it's your fault. You went to a psychic to try and win the lottery. Good luck. Just good luck with that. Watch this. Hello, boss? Sorry, I can't make it into the office today. I've caught a cough, a cold. Okay, well, get well soon. Things are very busy at the office this week. <laughs> oh no, he's the only one that can play hooky. You play hooky, he'll kill you. Okay, let's see you walk in a straight line. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that horse is going down. Oh, great. As if this cop didn't have anything better to do than harass an innocent knight. Got any grapes? No. Got any grapes? No. Got any grapes? No. And if you ask me one more time if I got any grapes, I'll nail your feet to the ceiling. Got any nails? No. Got any grapes? <laughs> <laughs> Got your ass, dude. You walked right into that. How can you make a threat like that without the means to back it up? I exam for mothers. Oh yeah, you know the rules. You know the laws of physics in this world. All moms develop eyes in the back of their head. Mm-hmm. Wasn't there a movie where someone did grow eyes in the back of their head? What was that one? Four engineers get into a car. The car won't start. The mechanical engineer says it's a broken starter. The electrical engineer says dead battery. The chemical engineer says says, impurities in the gasoline. The IT engineer says, hey guys, I have an idea. How about we all get out of the car and get back in? Well, you never know until you try it, right? Make fun of the guy all you want, but at least he's also submitting his own solution. Also, the chemical guy, impurities in the gasoline? <laughs> Look, dude, dead batteries, probably the most likely out of all of that in this case, but impurities in the gasoline? What a stretch, dude. If we don't go back and paint this on a wall, no one's ever gonna believe it. You know, I always wondered. Mm. Always wondered. But this does make the most sense. Hold up there, partner. This ain't a ghost town yet. Uh-huh. Oh, I get it, because every western town is a ghost town. Or at least they are now. You leave the party and your wife says, Why did you joke about my hair? You're so dead. Come on, high roll, avoid the argument. Dragon nerds love to play houses and humans. It That's just the game of life, man. Well, it's the game of life mixed with some other stuff, but seems fun. How did I do it? I don't know. I guess the fight or flight mechanism kicked in and, well, in case you haven't heard, Bob, I'm a penguin. We don't fly. <laughs> Yeah, that's the polar bear's fault. How did he not think about that before getting in the ring with a penguin? Have you seen those guys? They're insane. Especially those ones from Madagascar. I noticed you haven't been playing golf lately. I don't have anyone to play with. What about Clyde? Would you play with someone who cheats on the score and moves the ball when you're not looking? I guess not. Well, neither will Clyde. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 what? We'd like to discuss the grade you gave Billy on his family portrait. <laughs> How did he come out looking like that when mom and dad are looking like, well, I can't think of an artist. I can't. I'm sorry. I don't know that many, okay? You've got the whole plane to yourself. The large group going to the psychic convention all canceled at the last moment. Oh, okay. That's fine. I don't mind. Yay. If we pull this off, we'll eat like kings. That's one strong ass spider web. You know what? Where's Chris Hansen? These spiders are out here trying to catch kids. That's kind of messed up, you know? All right, we've got the beavers going at, oh no, oh no, Noah, how did you not see that coming? You fool! Ready? Here it comes! Oh, I see. Bastards. The little bastards. I've never experienced that though. If I actually got shat on as I pulled out of the car wash, I would lose my mind. Like, no way. Ozzy? It was then that Ed realized he'd mistakenly purchased a heavy metal detector. I don't know, Ozzy's looking pretty good down there. Maybe the sand is really helping the guy out after all these years of frying his brain. R.J. Harwell, born 1914. 
gave up smoking, 1959, gave up booze, 1973, gave up red meat, 1983, died anyway, 1991. I see the sentiment behind the joke. I do understand. Live your life, dude. However, however, you gotta quit pretending like people that live to 112 when they do all those things every single day are some kind of constant when they are in fact the outliers, okay? I had an uncle that lived to be about 89 years old and he smoked a pack a day, drank a bottle of whiskey a day, and you know, okay, that's crazy. But he's not the rule. He's an exception, so to speak, in this case. Uh, I think we all know somebody that lived way longer than they necessarily should have given their lifestyle. But don't sit there talking about how smoking and booze are totally normal things to abuse your entire life. Paint me like one of your... Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, the poor guy. Honestly, it's very clever. This truly is good boomer humor. A3000 3D printer. I hate to be the one to tell you this, Jerry, but I think you've been ripped off. Just a few more years and you'll be able to buy a real 3D printer, Jerry. I just hope you didn't spend too much money on that one. Speaking of spending too much money, which you can't do at mkshop.com, why don't you go over there and check out our new merch and use code BOOBIN at checkout to get free shipping. Henrietta provides us with eggs, and when she stops laying, we'll eat her. Picking up another dozen eggs, Henrietta? And that is why the chicken crossed the road. Oh! Oh my god, we finally got an answer! I don't know how old that joke is, but... Whew. At least we can put it to rest. Robin, look, someone in that store is in trouble. Oh, oh, ah, uh, okay. Are they... Business must be slow in Gotham right now, you know? Let's hear it for Gary, who invented a roll of tape that actually has no starting edge. You sick bastard. You belong where you are. Ugh. I'll tell you right now, there's no way we're hitting this deadline. Coming soon. Rome. A day. <laughs> well, I'll be damned if they didn't do their best anyway, right? I brought beer. Oh, they're kangaroos, dude. Also, is that the family guy house? Hi, I've forgotten what room I'm in. No problem, sir. This is called the lobby. Okay, see, that right there is a perfect example of the type of humor you get in one of the best comedies ever made, Airplane. We need more of this humor, please. If you hadn't declawed me, I'd be able to scratch through those ropes. Pity. No, oh, I guess you're going to die. Yeah, don't declaw your cats, please, for the love of God. Why are all of my royal chariots so dented and dinged? up. Hail Caesar. Very good. But again, what happened to my chariots? Uh, oh, hail. I'm stupid. Agatha, what's wrong? The doctor said I can't have kids. Now, now, food allergies aren't the end of the world. Yes, there's plenty more things out there you could consume to gather the youth of said creature, like dogs or, or, or kangaroos. Wendell, I'm home. How's that sore throat, sweetie? Feeling better? Oh, no. Oh, no. My wife thinks I'm totally insane. She's right. You don't have a wife. That guy needs some help. Maybe y'all shouldn't be drinking beer. Well, I would assume that's beer. Anyway, yeah, maybe you should get him some help and not alcohol. One Christmas, Santa decided that coal just wasn't working anymore. I tell ya, there are some adults out there that need this too. Let's get Santa some more brass knuckles and invite him over. Say, what's a mountain goat doing way up here in the cloud bank? Good question. Wait, where do mountain goats live again? Why science teachers should not be given playground duty? Would that even work? Like, really though, is that experiment gonna work out for him? I never know which restroom to use in Scotland. Oh, yeah. Well, you could just ask. I, I don't know how to help you, man. I'm sorry. Is that enough? They're going to be waking up any second. I really have to go. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, see, that's why cats, especially if they're friendly, can make great guard animals. Because look at the guy. He's cemented to the couch. You'll be able to call the police and bam, you got him. No investigation required. The guy had to stay. Sure, if you get a dog, they can eat the guy, but... I'd rather the cat keep the dude locked in place firmly until morning when I can catch his ass. Bob, you gotta see this guy. He could be your twin. Oh, son of a... <laughs> Never bring that guy to the robbery. After you, a decision Sharon came to regret. So wait a minute, how does Pi ever get anywhere? I mean, sure, the three can get somewhere and maybe a few digits behind him, but wouldn't he be clogging up every street on the entire planet at this point? Super antics. You, you saved my life. Nonsense, I didn't shave your wife. What? <laughs> Bullet. <laughs> okay, that was goddamn choice. That was so choice, dude. Okay, let's see. How sheep get away with murder. Have you guys ever actually tried counting sheep before? It's one of those things that you've been hearing about your entire life. Most people say it as a joke, but 
Have you tried it? I can't focus on one thing at all when I'm trying to sleep, so counting sheep doesn't really work for me. It actually might keep me up a little longer than normal. Excuse me, I ordered a dozen bees, but you gave me 13. That's a freebie. She's a keeper. Who the hell is that guy? Why is there a little mascot looking at the fourth wall? <laughs> She's a keeper. Yeah, okay, thank you, squirrel boy. Remember when we were young and you saw that old man and said, if I ever try to leave the house dressed that way, shoot me? Ha <laughs> ha Oh, yeah, damn, she's ready. She promised. That's a good wife right there, sir. Okay. <laughs> Oh, dude, I would love to dress like that for Halloween. And then, of course, when I hit the right age, I will unironically start dressing like that. The longest drum solo was 10 hours and 26 minutes and was performed by the child sitting behind me on Delta Flight 963 from L.A. to Tokyo. <laughs> oh, no! It's only a 10-hour flight from L.A. to Tokyo? Why does that feel a lot shorter than I thought? I don't know why I assumed it was 4 billion years. Uh, there are some countries that are so far away, that's just my immediate assumption. He's great around dogs, but unpredictable and snappy around other people. Get it? Because the humans are the real pets. Hide, bought the farm, staked, kicked the bucket, high and dry. Not faking it. Oh my god, high and dry. Wait a minute. Oh, sh**. We split ways here, brother. Oh, that's just sad. ACDC don't deserve to go to hell. Oh well. I think the cat's starting to enjoy the spray bottle too much. Well, if the dance is cool, then the dance is cool. Just roll with it, why don't you? And bless Aunt Fritzy, and bless my dog and cat, and please make Chicago the capital of Utah. Why did you say that, Nancy? That's what I put on my exam paper. Oh, <laughs> cute. You're cute. <laughs> nice one. Oh, Chicago should not be the capital of Utah. Please don't do that. Now, what am I going to do with all these candles? What was I thinking? The Grinch who stole Hanukkah. Don't they get eight days of gifts? Did he just think about this the wrong way? Oh, no, not this. Bullet bouncing. You're mostly invulnerable, right? Yeah. So why do you bother blocking bullets with your bracelets? Oh, I see. Understood. Completely fair. I get it. Slower than a speeding bullet. Less powerful than a locomotive. Unable to leap tall buildings in a single bound. And yet, still a Superman. You're goddamn right. I found it under my dad's bed. Kama Sutra. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I, damn it. Some people are just way more clever than I can ever hope to be. Free testing in rear. I thought they just swabbed your nose. Uh, 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 they gotta test the other end now. Happy retirement. I've been asked to say a few words about my time at this company, and I've come completely prepared. So, keep an ear out. Oh, boy. Kitty is stuck in the tree. Do you think you can climb all the way up there? <laughs> no need. Whoa! Thanks, Invincible! No, wait, what? Wait, there's two. Yes, but no. It's just a bit out of sync. Check again. Well, I'll be. You're right! Okay, this has got to be one of the craftiest, cleverest comic strips I've seen in the last 15 years of my life. Easily. That was absolutely fantastic. Bravo! You deserve the Emmy slash Oscar for comic strips. For whatever year you made this. Hopefully it was this year. I don't believe it. I'm gonna have to take the dogs for more walks. Those clever little bastards. Okay, now, when a teacher comes out, everybody looks straight up. Oh, great, you're gonna give Mrs. Gertie a heart attack. Don't do that. That's Frosty. He wanted to be cremated. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, man. That's what they did with him? They did a great job of preserving him. You know, instead of being cremated, can I be turned into a giant jar of jam? What makes you think they're fake? Oh, I see. Hmm. Turn around, Nancy. No, use it for talking. Like this. Oh. See, I love me a good comic. I really do. There are those guys out there that... <clears throat> Well, let's just say they ran out of funny years ago. And then you got dudes like this, who, while this was in 2010, Bizarro has got to still be okay, right? If you can think of stuff like this, please tell me you're still good. Oh, yes, I guarantee these bullets are pure silver. Moments before he was ripped to shreds, Edgar vaguely recalled having seen that same obnoxious tie earlier that day. Oh, I see. I'm not diving till Moses goes away. I wouldn't either. I don't trust that dude. Based on all the head tilts, maybe I'd better explain that again. Again. Yes, it's an involuntary reaction to incredibly dumb information. I'm taking my laptop to get repaired. The guy told me to bring all my passwords. <laughs> You've got a very secure set of passwords, don't you, friend? 16 tons. You know, Ernie, I can't help this feeling that I'm just another day older and deeper in debt. Oh, you move 16 tons, what do you get? Your parents sell you to Paris Hilton. Come on, Steve, get on up here! To the nation's horror, Trump makes good on his promise to bring back jobs. 
Not the one they were hoping for. Bogart Creek. Okay. Oh, no. All right, kids. Two more minutes. Then the nice man needs the machines. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I understand. Oh, dude. Is that an emoji printed in the newspaper? Joke of the day. An eight-year-old girl. I know it's not an emoji. Chill. All right. An eight-year-old girl went to the office with her father on Take Your Kid to Work Day. As they were walking around the office, the young girl started crying and getting very cranky. Her father asked what was wrong with her. As the staff gathered round, she sobbed loudly, Daddy, where are all the clowns you said you worked with? Well, sweetheart, they're, uh, they're right, they're right here. Uh, uh, God damn it. Oh, you idiot. Your own hubris has destroyed your career. Okay, let's see you walk a straight line. Uh-oh. Uh, no, that, that, that's against the rules. You can't do that. Can't walk in a non. You can't walk in a straight line. That's against the rules. You're cheating. But I mean, technically, an L is a straight line. There's just a 90 degree angle in it. So I mean, I mean, it could work. Don't forget to put on some lotion, sweetie. But Jenny, it's so hot out here. And what's with this apple? Oh, you know, it keeps the doctor away. Now eat it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean I'm too controlling? You heard me. Dude. Dude. <laughs> the just the uh, limitless dad jokes across the board. We had the dad joke subreddit and good boomer humor. This it's great. It's you know, I can feel myself rapidly aging and I need like a, a apron that says kiss the cook. I got to be grilling after this. Hey, Dad, can I use the lawnmower to make some extra money? You sure can, son. All right, well, that's for sale. Any buyers? Just nibble it first. But when you hear them yell, Piranha! Go for it. And we got ourselves a snack. That's why Sergeant Slaughter's at the, the, the lead. <laughs> no thanks. I'm the driver. I don't play golf, but that is silly. <laughs> Come on. It, it's, these are solid. These are, these are exhale worthy jokes. And that's the best compliment you can get for a dad joke is for it to be exhale worthy. Like if it's not, then you didn't do it right. You know what I mean? That's odd. My neck suddenly feels better. Now see, I'm having trouble with this one. Is it like acupuncture? Is that the joke? I'm having, I'm having a lot of trouble figuring out why this one's funny. <laughs> Well, I, I, I'm, I, I keep rereading it. I don't get it. What do you mean my neck suddenly feels better? Is it, is it, is this an acupuncture joke? I'm so proud of our son. Off to his first job. Oh no. You know, it, that's a tender moment, but you, that's, he's going right into war, right into the lion's den. Sweetie, get your butt over here. Ah, uh, because he wanted to light up the book. I ended, you know, doing some light reading with the light. That makes sense. Makes perfect sense. Same nightmare again, Bruce. Ozzy eating the head off the bat. He's truly your greatest adversary. I can see he's, even in your dreams, he's getting you. If we don't go back and paint this on a wall, no one's ever gonna believe it. I mean, I, I can hardly believe my eyes, but look at this. Get, break out the fine paints. We gotta put this on a rock wall. <laughs> Before paper and scissors, it was just rock and the always tide. By age 47, it became clear that Lester and his parents had distinctly different ideas on what it meant to grow up and become a successful engineer. Well, I mean, he's got the whole outfit and everything though. He did it. What's Dr. Phil doing cowering in the background? He's not a part of this family. Disturbing the peace. You? Possession. Ah. Uh. <laughs> and they're in ghost jail. That means they got busted by the RIPD. Ryan Reynolds was on the case, dude. A bass bassist playing a bass bass or a bass bass. Ooh, ooh, I see why this one's a tongue twister. I don't like that very much. It's a it's a bass bassist playing a bass bass, right? I think that's how you say I think I think I solved the puzzle. Ouch, stop it. Dad, tell her to stay on her own side. Dad, he's hitting me. Uh, can I get three junior meals and a vasectomy, please? What restaurant are you going to where I can get a vasectomy? A, f a first, okay, pause. First off, a fast food vasectomy. Sounds like a horrible idea. They're using a box cutter, my guy. Secondly, I understand. <laughs> and if you can get it at an affordable price, bless you. How are you cooking? <laughs> Oh, it just clicked. It, it just, the no poachers. Very, very silly. How are you boys cooking them eggs? Better be scrambled. If I see them eggs poached, 
You're off to the slammer. Free yoga. Kindly bend forward and pick up your dog's poop. Is that... <laughs> You bending over that far? You trying to get a whiff too? Look how low his head's gotten to bend over, man. That's not just for utility. That's for pleasure how he's picking that one up. I I, I would, uh, I'm all right. Like pick up your dog's poop, but maybe not so enthusiastically <laughs> as described in the, in the demonstration there. Um, <laughs> I'm lost on this one. This one I don't really understand. I mean, the, he looks like he's having a good time. Why is the cop upset? What, is it because his is cooler? He has a cooler one? I'd be upset. Oh, classic chicken prank. The the rooster grabbing the colonel mask and scaring the other chickens. I mean, their life's flashing before their eyes. They don't know no better. Classic prank. No, I don't hate giraffes. I'm just saying it might make sense to pull me out first. I mean, there's clearly a lot more room for the for the giraffe to live. And uh, right now it's like neck level for me. Well, it's neck level for the giraffe. That, yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good point. You know what? Get the giraffe out first. I'll I'll, I'll see you guys on the other side. <laughs> Sorry, we're we're about empty. I have a kid in college. Oh, do I at least get a marshmallow treat? The Lucky Charm. Do I get the cereal? Maybe it's magically delicious. Would your kid eat that too for breakfast? God. Sure, the abyss is great for staring into, but if screaming is your thing, you want to go with the void. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I appreciate it. So if I scream into the void, it, it, it's a more of a, it's like, this is a better job for me than if I was just here. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, I'll go with the void. Thanks. How much is that going to cost me? A retired crocodile keeps its teeth in the glass of water. They're just like us after all. You seem like the kind of guy who would be right at home in one of these fjord explorers. It's just something about you. I don't, I, I can't point out what it is, but you just seem like the kind of guy that would really appreciate this vehicle. I was unfaithful to you once with some red head in the men's room of a pool hall in 1971. I was drunk. That was me. Oh, see, no, you weren't unfaithful. You just don't remember, old man. Goodness, look at those costumes. I want to run away from both of you. <laughs> Yay. Now give us the candy, give us the candy, give us the candy. We're scary and we're frightening. Give us the candy. Those open carry folks make me nervous. Ah, uh, yeah, both of them. And they got different models too. Oh, geez. What's on the TV, dear? Same diamond you don't know, every channel. Poor guy. <laughs> Caution. Geezers will erupt without warning. Look at them all. Oh, this is this is what nature's all about. Nature's so beautiful. Yeah, I know it's pricey, but I only gotta sell one glass and I'm set for life. Oh yeah, one million dollars a glass? Yeah, this makes sense. Wow, Jimbo. Great camo shirt. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's how I, I know they're in the Arctic North, but that's how I picture them talking. For me, these are Southern polar bears. Well, Mayan, great shark. Can you put the dog out? I'm sick of his scratching. What? Well, he's funky as hell, dude. He's fresh. Don't hate on him because he's cool. Do you know any poems, Grandpa? Sure. I went to do some gardening. I went to cut some grass. I stepped upon a roller skate and fell upon my arrow sidewalk. That's not a poem. <laughs> Grandpa, you suck at poems. That's not that's a, that's more of a limerick. Husky, collie, beagle, Afghan, poodle, pug, Yorkie, Shih Tzu, Corgi. Your hindsight is 2020. Ah, this guy. That means I don't need no glasses. Am I right, Doc? I mean, look, his hindsight wasn't good. He needs glasses. Watch for dinner, dear. Microwave pizza. Mmm. Oh, hey, wait. It's this. It's Earl again. How should I slice it? Six pieces or eight? Better make it eight. I'm extra hungry. No, no, Earl. It's the same. It's the same amount of pizza. No. Oh, you know what? Let it. Let him dream. Let him dream. Caution. Extremely slip. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> he, he didn't read the sign, clearly. I liked Jaws too, Phil, but it's impossible to sneak up on people when you do that. Well, he's just having fun. It's just a bit of fun. It's windy. No, Thursday. Me too. <laughs> Let's get some beers. Yeah. Yeah, a couple of old men. He thought it was Wednesday. No, he's thirsty. Yeah, let's all go get some beers, fellas, and give that pigeon a bit of popcorn while you're at it. Remember, son, if you do nothing all day, you're called a bum. But if you do it in a boat, you're called a fisherman. 
Life lessons with Peepaw. Hell and bloody hell. Eh, sorry. That one's reserved for the Brits. You just gotta go to regular hell. Little known fact, before Thing was an actor, he was a stagehand. Am I right? Your call is important to us. Please, stay on the line until your call is no longer important to you. All right, seems reasonable. Who would dump out my delivery and steal the box? I could think of a culprit. Just look across the street. Earl, I just noticed your pajamas are hanging from the ceiling fan in the bedroom. Mm-hmm. Is there any particular reason for that? Yep, you've told me many times to stop leaving them on the floor. I feel like I've seen these guys in like the newspaper. Something about them is so familiar. I think I know these guys are from like the daily paper. This is nice. Oh no, the psych ward. You gotta bring him in, he's crazy. My, that looks like a very interesting book. Do you mind? <laughs> I'm trying to read. How to attract women. Victor is not what you would call a quick study. <laughs> that one, that, that actually, that tickled me actually. I really enjoyed that one. This author is great. The Swedish attack was less successful because they had to build the Trojan horse. No, I said summarize the book. Yeah, I did. I summarized it. It's ready for the summer. Yes, this is the How's My Driving Call Center. You say there's a truck aggressively tailing you? Yeah, yeah, there is actually. <laughs> well, maybe you should drive faster. What can you recommend that doesn't taste like me? Well, <laughs> have you tried our tuna? It's the chicken of the, <gasps> oh, oh right. Hey, just leaving the tattoo shop, couple of syrup there. Aw, I pay a lot for that. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. That's why you gotta get them a couple layers deep, you know? I may not be that good looking or athletic or funny or talented or smart. I forgot where this was going, but I do know that I love bacon. God bless you. <laughs> Old man. Scuffle, brawl, melee, altercation. Hold it right there, stranger. Lamb's fighting words. Yep, just read a dictionary earlier, got a whole lot of them. If you think that's impressive, I'm about to blow your mind. I don't know what that was. I don't know what voice that was. It came, it was natural for me. <laughs> I'm feeling like the Joey right now where its eyes are going both ways. I feel just like that Joey right about now. Yeah, this doesn't look good. In the case of, uh, <laughs> All these things, man. The toilet, the leg. It's not looking good, bro. Pencil. Psst. Doc, are you sure? We gotta rewind them. Hubba gubba dubba? No, gubba dubba hubba. Early arguments were generally settled by whoever was holding the club at the time. Nah, that's fair. I think that's a gen generally a pretty like surefire way to solve an argument. That makes sense. Thank you for not tipping. We are just trying to do our jobs. No, don't, you don't need to make it a whole process. Oh, we got some specials, including the wine of the month. And you'll like this one. It's made from an anti-diuretic hybrid grape and reduces the number of trips people your age go to the toilet during the night. It's called Pinot More. Ah, yes. Very silly, very nice. I'll take a bottle, actually. This piece is called Father's Thermostat. Feel free to take photos, but please do not touch. The artist lives in the walls and he'll, he'll know. It comes with a lever that sweeps out all the cat's toys. Wait, I actually really appreciated this one because Blue will knock stuff under the couch all the time. This seems this is a genius. This is a genius product. Why haven't we funded this? Before I retired, I used to dread Mondays. Not anymore. This morning I woke up and said to myself, "It's Monday, and I don't care." Today's Friday. Yeah. Before I retired, I used to keep track of what day it was too. <laughs> this guy makes retirement sound dope. I'm not even gonna lie. This dude <laughs> makes it sound sick. He just doesn't care. It's an apprenticeship. Stop telling people I'm being potty trained. Well, it's funny. Oh, dude, it's Dr. Zeus. I don't like Greek eggs and lamb. I don't like them at all, madame. Not with Hades, not with the ladies, not as a treat on the island of Crady. I will not eat them, Persephone. I will not eat them. Let me be. He's spitting bars at you, too. You just gonna take that? <laughs> Two hunters, one of a kind, a one of a kind couple. What is this building? It's a nursing home. Ah, I like that we ended this with something that's a little less boomerish and more zoomerish. This is, this is, this one's a little more towards the zoomer humor, making fun of the boomer humor. You know what I'm talking about? That was a nice little subversion of my expectations. How many kids are in that kid's meal? Didn't make me laugh, but I do think it's cute. They're refillable? <laughs> Damn look on his face! God.
God, s screw you. I hate this. Look, we're sorry. If we had known you were going to be a writer, we'd have been better parents. My miserable life. <laughs> oh, that's great, though. Stick it to the parents. You mean, yes, your entire species is dyslexic. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> wait, what, what do you mean? Also, it's Y-O-U-R apostrophe E. <laughs> oh, man, the amount of people that are going to take that seriously is going to be insane. I think we have mice. Okay, that's just adorable. I think at this point, good boomer humor is just being cute. It doesn't make you roll your eyes in any other way, but okay, you know what, you got me with that one. So, how's the new kitten? <laughs> Apparently, really good? Yeah, I wouldn't use the word well. Good. That's proper, isn't it? Watch this. Hello, boss. Sorry, I can't make it into the office today. I've caught a <clears throat> cold. Okay, get well soon. Things are very busy at the office this week. That's right. Screw the office. Go skiing and boarding instead. Live your life like all humans deserve to. Dad, Mom, I'm a gatherer. You're what? <laughs> Okay, okay, no, that's fair, that's fair. You know what? We love you either way. What are you looking for, Opal? Hidden cameras and recording devices. What? You think our home is bugged? I know it is. This darn cartoonist has been putting us in his comic strip every day. <laughs> How often did the comic strips in the paper actually break that boundary, huh? That's kind of fun. Although I do wonder if the artist just didn't have any ideas for that week. It's okay, because you're new. But FYI, chaps are meant to be worn over a pair of pants. Well, maybe they're meant to be, but that doesn't mean that they have to be. Think about it. Come on, live a little. You're a cowboy. No one can tell you how to dress. Peaches, I got nice fresh peaches. Yo, get your apricots here. Apples, apples, apples. You want them? I got them. Oh, I see. Saturday morning in the garden. Don't fall for it, guys. Don't fall for it, because if you do, that means I'm born and I have to do stuff. Let's give thanks for alternate universes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, please don't lift up that cover. Don't do it. Unfortunately, Winnie the Pooh's Christmas hint for lots of honey was completely misunderstood by Piglet. No, no, it was not misunderstood. Piglet knew exactly what the f*** they doing. You missed. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> oh, if only Bambi's mom had a revolver. He says that he'll provide me with food and shelter and in return, he gets to call me his little Snoopy Poo. Okay. They fell for that instantly, though. They didn't even think about how this deal was going to affect them 10,000 years later. There! That's him! Number four! That crazy psycho! <laughs> Come on. Come on, he didn't do it. I'm the one that did it. I threw him down the lane and broke your face. Can vegans eat pudding? Negative. You can't have any pudding if you don't eat your meat. Oh, I got you. Wait, but this isn't a fun comic strip. This is a stupid Facebook meme. The first testicular guard was used in cricket in 1874. And the first helmet was used in 1974. It took a hundred years for men to realize that the brain is also important. Just kind of 1974, is that true? Like, really? A helmet wasn't considered a good idea? That was only, what, 900 years ago? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It was the 70s. It was only like 20 years ago, right? Only 30 years ago? Right? Right? Fresh underwear. Ten oh, okay. That took me a split second. Just, just to, I don't know, it took me a second there. I was okay. I got it. I got there. That's the point. The point is, I arrived arrived at the conclusion. Took me a minute. Didn't take me a minute. I got this one actually quite quickly, although I did see this one years ago, so it's kind of cheating, right? That's a rocking horse. Thanks, man. Yours is awesome, too. Yeah. I don't like that the rocking horse does still look like a real horse, just stuck to the... What do you call those? It doesn't matter. The rails? Your father is rolling in his grave. Yeah. Until I eat him, right? Before the Iron Age. Oh. Ha! You can't touch me here. I'm in the living room. Darn. He's got me there. You you know, I like the idea that death, because he's not evil. Death isn't some evil dude, right? He's just doing his job or her job. Death could be a woman. Doesn't matter, right? You know what? Maybe they don't conform to gender. Maybe death is just death, right? But I like the idea that death is just some person that is easily trickable with crap like this. You know, they're really, it's kind of like death from Bill and Ted, right? Ugh, what a person. 
perfect representation. So, what are y'all in for? Uh... Oh, gotcha. You got money laundering, assault, and battery. Okay. Indecent exposure, assault with a deadly weapon, and I think I love you, Sarge. <laughs> oh, man. Still good at their jobs, though. Happy retirement. I've been asked to say a few words about my time at this company, and boy, oh boy, I am going to say more than a few things. That's with any company, though. Even if you love it. Now that's scary. United Nations Climate Change Report. Well, why'd you have to bring down the mood? Why'd you have to do that, Greg? Thanks. I say, old boy, my dog doesn't seem to think you're a very good shot. Look, you gotta cover your bases, okay? It's like wearing a life jacket when you go out fishing. <laughs> I can technically swim, but come on, I wanna be safe. Send us a pic of your junk and get a free estimate. Ew. <laughs> Uh, look, the reason the sign hasn't been changed since he opened for business is because he likes it. That's the only explanation I can think of. I think she's about to say her first word. Yeah, it's gonna disappear and pop up like 500 more times going forward, though. Junk drawer. Okay, did you hear? It turns out old power cords are really valuable. Good thing Dad kept them. We never should have doubted him. I don't know what it is about the stupid box full of cables or the bag full of bags that people keep, but it's kind of funny that the bag full of bags is more useful, right? We do use those for various things, but the cables? I don't know. The only problem that I really foresee with getting rid of them is that is the moment that you're suddenly going to need an HDMI cable that now you don't have, right? Keep that crap lying around just in case. It's not taking up that much room. And though we'll never know just why Dave wanted to cross the road, we can rest assured that he is now, at last, on the other side. Thank goodness he did it. Bless me, father, for I have sinned. Last night I killed a politician. My daughter, I'm here to listen to your sins, not your community service work. I think it's amazing just how no one likes a politician <laughs> at all. No one. We can all unite under that. Oops, wrong home. Forget wrong home. Get in here before you freeze your tukus off. Sit, sit, I'll put on some coffee. Coffee, it's the middle of the night. <laughs> Better make a decaf. I have a complaint about your so-called slow cooker. W what's the complaint? How long did you leave it in there for? Aren't most recipes for those things like what? Four to 12 hours, something crazy like that? R.J. Harwell born 1914, gave up smoking 1959, gave up booze 1973, gave up red meat 1983, died anyway 1991. I've seen this one a few times. I have, but don't let it be some kind of a lesson, right? Smoking and drinking, uh, not red meat, smoking and drinking will, mm, they'll kill you a lot quicker if you've been doing it for that long. Come on, not everybody's a genetic marvel. Hey there, beautiful. It was hard for Chad to admit he needed glasses. Well, he might might not. Maybe the hose likes him back. I have to pee. I feel sick. He's touching me. Are we there yet? I'm hungry. St. Patrick regrets his decision to drive the snakes out of Ireland. Oh, drive. I, I understand. One day, son, all those perfectly good AC adapters, which have long outlived the products they were originally designed for, will be yours. And then in the far, far future, I'll be a billionaire. iPod? iPod? You can't beat the sound of real vinyl. Sure you can. You can put some pretty uncompressed sh** on your iPod. <laughs> You see, what drew me to vinyl was the expense and inconvenience. That's where it gets fun. Slight breeze from the south, about 30 yards. I'd use the seven spear, the first caddy. Well, they had to start somewhere, right? I can't sleep. I just know that right now, at this very moment, someone's misspelling something on the internet. I'm doing it on purpose, just to keep you up. Upon Bernie's arrival, the scariest costume competition was about to get a whole lot stiffer. <laughs> 13 piece bucket has arrived. It's number two. That's the man who stole my identity. Oh, wow, he really did, though. Oh, sorry, dude. Society for Asking Stupid Questions. Excuse me, but is this the Society for Asking Stupid Questions? Look, that's one of the few things I'm really good at. How to summon a, a lemon? Oh, you idiot. I hate cursive. That's why I don't use it. it has no real place in society anymore. Yikes. <laughs> I hope you're not superstitious. Right. No, I see. Tom Talk as loud as you want. <laughs> Go for it. Man, why can't I sit in the first class balcony on the front of the bus? Bartender, I'll have what he's having. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> you asked for it. 
Like, in this particular case, you did. My love life bites. I'm not the man I used to be. I feel hollow inside. I curse everything. I haven't felt alive in years. I just feel disconnected. Halloween group therapy. Well, I hope they're really getting the improvement that they need in their lives. It seems like a lot of them are just too stressed out. Excuse me, folks, but if either of you happens to find a fingertip, I'll be back in the kitchen. Over the years, Salad developed a simple yet effective way of closing on time. <laughs> uh, you know what my effective way for closing on time would be? I'm sorry. We close at 10. It's 9.59. Not happening. Y'all have a great evening. Come back tomorrow. <laughs> Well, that sure would be an eye-opener. I mean, it really would. You're gonna pop your head open. You ain't wearing nothing, man. No helmet, no pads, nothing. Thank you for not tipping. Oh, cuz they're cows. You're cute. Honey, can you toast some muffins? Certainly. Here's to muffins. Oh, us alcoholics love it. You're kidding. I was struck twice by lightning, too. Uh-oh. That's a big soccer ball. I'm telling you as a friend, everybody knows it's a toupee. Who cares? Who cares if it's a toupee? I mean, it just needs to look okay. Right, you know, don't get a cheap one. Bird hikes. We're not gonna get lost. I've been leaving a trail of breadcrumbs. Oh, I see. Well, at least you can fly. Eye of potato. Ear of corn. Head of lettuce. Oh, they're vegan witches. And then I heard a loud bang. And when I turned back, he was gone. You guys need to move. You guys need to run. You're not gonna like it. Bagel problems. I'm just tired of being everything to everybody. It's like not even a fair name. The everything bagel. I couldn't possibly have everything on me. That's ridiculous. I have like six things tops. I'm a six thing bagel. I'm sick of being bald. Ah, an idea to meet a real werewolf. Oh, it's a perfect scheme. Are, are you sure? Yes. Bite me. The next night. It's happening. Oh, great. Dude, you're a wear bald. That dome shining bright in the full moonlight. Oh, nothing. It's just that this is the first time I've ever seen you without your bell bottoms. You got a problem? Biggest calves this side of where we are. We got a problem with that? No, 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 it's fine. I mean, I got a hell of a roundhouse kick. Mm hmm. It's true. These stompers know no bounds. Bob retired from the cloning lab and now he doesn't know what to do with himself. <laughs> Dude, that is some peak boomer humor. That's a top tier one. Like all this is stuff I would have seen from my dad, but this in particular hits in a different level. I really like it. I really appreciate the, the pizzazz that this one contains. It's aura, it's energy, it's vibe. Mwah! I love it. Another one. So uh, which one is yours? <laughs> Listen, that clown ain't happy. Kind of crazy that the clown's rubber broke. It had the rubber nose, the clown nose. You would think if anything would be safe on that clown, it'd be rubber. <laughs> I like the implication too that this means clown's feet are absolutely horrifying and that it's not just big shoes. I, I appreciate that notion, that implication. I think we could work very well together. I'm control, I'm alt, I'm delete. The task manager brothers. Hey Jimmy, great to see you, how you doing? Whoa, Gerald, switch to decaf. I mean, he's just a little hyperactive, that's fine. Not me, I, I, I don't get that effect from coffee, but granted, and I got, I got ADHD, so it's not like caffeine's gonna dent the armor that is my my attention deficit. The bad date rescue dog. What is it, girl? You need a long walk right now? Well, Bob, looks like I have to go. Mm, you know, what, what 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 can I say except my my duty calls for my pet? Yeah, sorry. You can take the check though. We didn't get anything but wine. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's, it's fine. Long walk. Yeah, long uh, long walk. Can I get your number? No, nope. number of steps. Probably too many. Probably too many for this dog. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Get out. She's losing a lot of soda. Do something, Dr. Pepper. Now I have to tell them I only have a PhD in deliciousness. I didn't think anyone would ever actually G-check me on my PhD. Oh, no. Oh, no, this is horrible. Dude, that guy gives me the creeps. I keep your voice down. I heard that. In fact, I hear everything incredibly loudly. It's pain, but you know what hurts more? The fact you would say that about me. Oh, dude, a classic comic. Are you kidding me? Sunday paper original? I'm such an idiot. I saw our neighbor, Mrs. Lundgren, at the store today. So I asked her how her husband was doing. I didn't know he died. She said, he's gone. I thought she meant he'd gone on a trip. So I said, why didn't you go with him? <laughs> Hey, he, Earl didn't know any better. All right, Earl was asking out of the kindness of his, of his heart why Mrs. Lundgren didn't go on the trip with her husband. They've been together for 30 years, at least. Very happy together. It's, it's out of character. I think she's about to say her first word. She's typing in her brain, dude. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, psst. I know you're having fun, but can I show you people having way more fun? <laughs> 
take a look at these guys. They curate their entire online profile to make it look like they're living a better life than you. And you're gonna like that post, don't you, you schmuck? Yeah, go ahead, leave a like on that. Comment too, wow. I wish that was me. Yeah, I got you hooked, pal. Hook, line, and sink. How's that dopamine feeling? Because it's gonna go away in about five seconds. And that's what social media is. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Someone's also been sleeping in my bed. In my bed as well. Wait, when did you guys get another bed? <laughs> Your dad and I have been unhappy for a long time. This is how you break into the poor kid? No, dude. What do you mean I'm too controlling? You heard me. I mean, yeah, didn't stutter. Didn't stutter once. This sheep stood on business. Stood on badness. Your father is rolling in his grave. At least part of him is. Look at that. Your mama wasn't lying, little pig. Good night, everyone. Good night. Kidney, it's bedtime. What are you doing? This piece ain't gonna make itself. <laughs> and when the body least expect it, I'm gonna wake your ass up in the middle of the night to release this hard piss I've been making down here. And it's never gonna be enough because you got a bladder problem. <laughs> the kidney is the villain in this. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it makes sense when you see the second painting with the Lego. Like, at first, the scream was like, well, what's he so scared about? You know? What, 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 why, why, what is the scream about, anyway? Like, I see him. I see him. He clearly is panicked. But why? And now when you see the second one, yeah, I get it. Speaking of the, the, the scream painting, uh, I recently looked into it because I thought it was uh, just, it's an interesting painting and I've never looked into it. And so I thought it'd be fun to like learn about it and read a little bit more about a painting that I've never, you know, spent the time to look into the history of. And of course, art's subjective, it has a subjective meaning. But I read somewhere that the inspiration, he was walking across a bridge with some friends and he had felt something come over him that he described as like mother nature screaming. Cause he looked out into the city and saw all this like industrialization, right? So I guess he looked out into the, he looked out into the city and in his head he heard ah! like you know mother nature reacting and made the scream i don't know if that's accurate or not but that's just what i read and i thought it was an interesting an interesting uh tale but of course you know like i said art is subjective maybe he's screaming about maybe this is like a my face win and it's like the post that was just before this you know <laughs> any last words that's just cruel come on come on you know his whole deal there's no last words there was no first words even i don't care what the other young bulls are doing you're getting a nose ring! Mm, okay... Is that a red shirt, young man? Oh, it gets really upset. Cause you know, it's a disapproving parent. What you think I was gonna say? The beloved pet and Olive, though you're no longer with us, know that you'll always be in our memories as a password. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, you die twice. Once, you know, your corporeal form, and then the second time when people stop thinking about you. So technically, Olive's living on as a password. It was then that he'd realized he'd mistakenly purchased a heavy metal detector. Ozzy? It's him. Looking real youthful, too. The party is our most difficult escape room. You have one hour to get out of a room full of extroverts. Oh, dear God. Look at them waving at us, beckoning us in. I'm scared. Yo, I haven't seen this comic in a long time. Holy shit. What a throwback. Can I please talk to Pig? This is Pig. Hi, Pig. I have your test results. Oh my goodness. What are they? They're negative. No! How much time do I have left? Relax, Pig. It's a positive thing. Negative is positive? Yes. Then what's a positive result? A negative thing. Positive is negative? Yes. Are you sure? I'm positive. Oh no! How much time do you have left? You lived a good life, Doc. Next time you call him. Oh, come on, he's just concerned. Trust me, Alex. Your father doesn't like to give spankings. It hurts him far more than it hurts you. And look at all that. Just please start behaving, it sucks every time. In case of fire, take stairs. And old Danny DeVito took that literally, see that? Yes, stomach stapling is quite expensive. If you'd prefer a cheaper alternative, I could staple your mouth shut for five bucks. Yeah, but that one's gonna give a statement that I don't think I'm ready to give out to people yet. I'm a street artist. Oh, nice. Interesting. No. Oh, his 100th birthday party was last month. Now celebrating paying off his student loans. Congratulations. Took us long enough, huh? That's bleak. Check out this bitch. I wonder if it's a shit zoo. Looks like they found a loophole in our no swearing rule. Oh, uh, great. <laughs> 
a 1,000 year old person made this. That is incredible. It, look, Granny is well-meaning. She wants the flowers on your arm to bloom because she sees you as a flower. You know, I think that's adorable. The last straw. I am all that remains of a once proud people that could be found throughout the land and unfortunately the sea. All right, let's gang up on them. My parents giving me the talk. When two people love each other very much, me giving my parents the talk. When someone calls and says they're Microsoft tech support, what do you do? Give them our password. No, go to your room. <laughs> Finally, the time machine is done. But the contract says you're supposed to deliver it a month ago. No problem, I will. I mean, yeah, who's gonna stop him? It is a time machine. Employees must wash hands. Oh, hey hands. Gotta say, that's not what I thought the sign meant. Well, get used to it, pal. This is, this is what we pay him full time for. Wendy gets privacy by creating her own book covers, such as stabbing strangers who talk to you and other bestsellers. I see you guys walking around with hats like that all the time and know I'm the weird one for following suit. I thought I was just doing what you guys were doing. Don't look at me like I'm the odd one out. Maybe it's you guys. The problem isn't when there are a lot of candles. It's when they give up and only use one. I mean, you know, you only use, there's less to blow out and you can still make a wish. I think it's fine. It's a good compromise. How, how old these dinosaurs are, which is pretty old. You want me to do that many candles? Get out, you're ridiculous. I'm gonna pollute the environment. One candle. What? Facebook deleted a profile picture again? Oh, that's that's so disappointing. You and your children? They're twins too. That's incredible. I guess Facebook hates twins. Yelp reviews for the Hotel California. Such a lovely place. Plenty of room. What a nice surprise. You can check out any time you like. One star, you can never leave. Oh no, they're having a horrible time in the Hotel California. <laughs> I want more boomer Facebook memes. It just, it, it, it's a nice place, all right? And I'm not talking about, you know, other boomer memes where it's a little concerning. This was a harmless boomer meme. This was like, this was, uh, this was an acceptable level of boomer, more like that. Why did that chicken cross the road? We dated, it ended badly, and now she's avoiding me. Okay, all right, come on. We didn't need that large of a backstory for the chicken crossing the road. Somewhere in Alabama, I'll have a glass of wine. A glass of wine? You aren't from around these parts are you, boy? Nope. Where are you from, boy? Idaho. Idaho? What do you do in Idaho? I'm a taxidermist. A taxidermist? What's a taxidermist do? I mount animals. Don't worry, boys. He's one of it. Oh, I get it. Because I'm not going to explain it. We're going to have to cut it out of the video. Never? Nope. <laughs> God damn it. Olive oil versus extra virgin olive oil. Oh, the little crucifix necklace. All right, that's funny. When you've eaten as much homework as I have, you'll learn a few things. I wish I could absorb information by eating it. <laughs> my Doug ate my homework. Yeah, sure, you little piece of sh**. Remember, the boomers invented the furries. Fountain of youth. Bob? Oh, see, that's it. If you're gonna bathe or drink from the fountain of youth, you have to find a stopping point, alright? You don't sit in there, you don't keep chugging, you should know when it's time to stop. You're in the wrong bar, pal. You know what? You know what? When was this dated? 2013. This joke was done, uh, I don't think for the first time in the movie Super Troopers, and I think it's probably one of the funniest jokes ever put into a movie. Uh, I think you owe it to yourself to check it out. It may not have aged perfectly, but it's still entertaining, right? Come on! You're invited to join the Donner Party. Cool time! All you can eat until the guests are gone. <laughs> and Donner never did figure out why no one came to his holiday party. For those unaware, the Donner Party is the name of one of the most horrible cases of stranded travelers in history. They were stuck in the mountains over winter, many froze to death, and others resorted to cannibalism to survive. Oh, good lord. Of course I haven't made a payment on the tractor. You said it would pay for itself. <laughs> okay, that one's cute. That's cute. I do not know why that is still a tactic to sell stuff today. It's paying for itself! I, sure, but not really, though. Dude, I found this in my dad's closet. Want to see how babies are made? <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. This is nice of you, but I said I wanted an experience instead of a gift. I know, best experience ever. I know! <laughs> oh, cats are stupid. I just got in a new piece that would be perfect for your collection. <laughs> That would actually be amazing. I would love a- You know what? Actually, I feel like I've decorated some of my Minecraft houses like that by just patterning with the paintings, right? I know I'm not the only one. That's common, isn't it? Pirates at a formal. Ah, uh, yes, you have to bring the black tie birds with you. Yeah, naturally. Due to complaints, we're implementing some changes. Do 
diapers? Oh, come on, that ain't right, man. Once a year, they get to sh** on the world. Why are you taking that away from them? That's impossible. A flying chicken, no way! The, the chicken just, all right, okay, sure. Earl, we've got a poultry geist. <laughs> oh man, this is wearing me down. Look, I like good boomer humor. These aren't the types of jokes that you'd be able to stand up in front of a comedy club and get laughs with though. I know you miss the Wainwrights, Bobby, but they were weak and stupid people. And that's why we have wolves and other large predators. The w excuse me? I love driving in winter because I pretend I'm flying the Millennium Falcon. I wouldn't call this boomer humor. Everybody has seen Star Wars. You've got the whole plane to yourself. The large group going to the psychic convention all canceled at the last moment. That seems like something a flight attendant would tell you was a joke because she's being a smart ass. Let's go in anyway and just pretend we can't read. <laughs> oh, shut up. Up. The oven's beeping, dear. That means dinner's not ready. What? Oh, ah, uh, Roadrunner Parmesan. Gotcha. Okay. Why do I always have to clean the toilet? Really, Comet? Oh, right, because there's that Comet cleaning powder crap. Okay. Congratulations. It's a green. Hey, wait a minute, buddy. I rented out the basement. See, like, this is adorable. Is this gut busting hilarious? No, it's cute. This is going to be my favorite thing ever from the subreddit. You retire, you start feeding the birds, and it's over before you know it. I'm some big ass bird. Oh. The airbag saved your life, but I'm afraid you swallowed the chihuahua you had riding in your lap. The defense requests a reduced bail as my client is not a flight risk. <laughs> Poor penguins, man. They really got the short end of the stick, you know? I mean, how free are they? Not like every other bird that gets to roam the skies. Sure, they get to roam the oceans a bit. Mom, could we stay in my old room until we're able to afford a place of our own? <clears throat> um, uh, sure, sure. At least you'll grow out of yours. That is true. That is true. You got to remember that poor dog's going to have to wear that sweater forever. Like the sign, it's all theirs. Oh, that's cute. That is adorable. You see? You see? Do you get what I mean now? <laughs> <laughs> That's great, though. All right, what's on the menu? Coffee, espresso, cappuccino, and latte. Oh, and cookie bagel muffin. Okay. <laughs> Cool. If you can safeguard this punch card for half a decade, you get a free coffee. I've got like three punch cards from a video game store in my closet, and I always forget to bring them with me. My New Year's resolution was to lose 25 pounds. I never said how. Ha ha ha. You quit? I mean, I guess if the job sucks and you're not making very much money, go for it. Short guy. Got a thing for carrots. You seen him? <laughs> No. What does this short guy look like exactly? Train set, replacement bus service. <laughs> no! No, why? That makes me so sad. I hate buses. Sweet outhouse, man! But you're all out of toilet paper. That's because it's my ice fishing shack. Oh. You might need a new one of those. I... I'm sorry. I... Ooh. <laughs> Honey, show me what you can do with your hands. Okay. Is this boomer humor? Uh, like, I don't no, some of these kind of ride the line, I guess. This just doesn't fit the vibe. Silence is golden, duct tape is silver. Like that fits the boomer vibe, okay? This is one step away from, ha <laughs> I hate my wife. You know, that's one step away. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, ooh, what the hell? Uh, huh. I'm trying to imagine what occurred here, and I just can't. Job evaluation day. Slow, lazy, and bad attitude. I like to think that Santa never goes through reindeer at all. Hasn't he had the same ones since Coke invented him? Three, two, one. Ha oh, oh, ooh, Jesus. No, uh-uh, I don't like that at all. So, how's that litter box of yours work? <laughs> nope. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> Hang on, Frank. I'm sorry. Oh, good lord, that happened so quickly. When the fourth came along, we really had to think about space. Oh, ain't that just the cutest sh** in the world? Catherine, that's just tasteless. No, it's pretty finger-licking good, actually. Did you know? Nothing starts with N and ends with G. <laughs> You're right. Hmm, let's see. Patient attorney. Death ray fiddlesticks. Why, it doesn't even slow them up. What? All right, from Peter explains the joke. Well, wait, what? There I go. Still writing BC on my checks. 
You needed Peter to explain that joke? Hey, why the stoppage? We've hit bedrock. Oh no, Fred. <laughs> Not my boy, Fred. Yeah, oh man, catch me taking the dramatic exit every single day without fail. Yes, well, legibility and correct punctuation might not be street, but that's how I roll, motherfucker. <laughs> that guy just got danced on, dude. How's the kid who swallowed the coins doing? No change yet. <laughs> Soon, no, I hope. <laughs> Holiday returns. I'm returning the sweater, but I'd like to keep the box. Man, they really latched onto cats liking boxes, didn't they? My baby brother was born completely helpless, Ralph. We need to take care of him. So upon emergence, young humans do not immediately consume their parents? No, that takes 18 to 35 years. <laughs> I like this. Is, is this a recurring strip? I would love to read this. The girl and the alien? Well, this is cute. <laughs> Rubes. Air guitar. Ah, I see. No, I really do. That wasn't meant to... Never mind. Let's get out of here. This place is nothing but treble. <laughs> Shut up. Aw, oh, jeez. My nuts are frozen. Tell me about it. Aw, oh, the poor wiener dog. The cannons be ready, Captain. R. What? R. Wow. Okay. Check this out. I think the guy behind us just got lucky. <laughs> oh, no. Jeez. What a lovely cycle of life. Sorry, mate. You want Whoville? This is the Whoville. What? Oh, oh, I see. I didn't look at the guy's shirt at all. Are you on your way to a Halloween party, too? Uh, actually, neither of us are. <laughs> That cat is feral, but I'm making progress with him. He won't let me touch him, but he is texting me. Hey, that's a big first step. Abridged Christmas classics. A Christmas carol. Mean old man is spiritually awakened. The little match girl? She dies. It's sad. The gift of the magi. A couple discovers the need for Christmas lists. The nutcracker and the mouse king. Old timey toy story, except it's terrifying. The polar express. Kids are abducted and taken to an old man's place. The night before Christmas. Weird home invasion wakes a guy up. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, the Polar Express is not that big of a book, though. Unless it originally was. You know what doesn't grow back, Susan? Trust. Trust! Tonight, the great Mandini will juggle nine nuclear warheads. Nuclear warheads, huh? More like defuse nuclear warheads, if you ask me. <laughs> but um, If anyone's looking for me, I'll be here trying to open this damn bag. I've been trying to open one of those bags for 12 years straight. Balloons! What? <laughs> Wait! Oh! Oh, I get it. I'm an idiot. I was... I was thinking this was... Uh, never mind. I don't want to make myself look dumber. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. <laughs> Ready? Here it comes! I swear to God, birds are definitely not real. How do they know? Why is it we never seem to be completely awake? Because we live in BC times. What's BC? Before coffee! Oh, <laughs> I'm losing my mind. The Pharaoh's final request was to be buried with his cat. Woof. Oh, I get it. Yeah, yeah. Run! Run! Bye, hun. I'll be back in a jiff. No, you won't. I'm confident you need glasses, but unfortunately, you've come to the wrong doctor. You sure? You look like the right one to me. Okay, never mind. I didn't have my glasses on. I'm not used to wearing them yet.